Sometimes the worst critics aren't others, but ourselves. What do you do when there's poison inside of you? You remove it, but it's not so easy as pushing an eject button and having it pop out. A thought isn't so easily discarded, but with enough practice, they can be questioned and better managed each time we aren't so kind to ourselves. Here are six signs you may be too hard on yourself. Before we begin, we at Psych2Go want to give you a huge thank you. With your help, we are able to make quality psychology content more accessible to everyone. Now on to the video. 1. You blame yourself for things out of your control. It's good to take responsibility for the mistakes you make. But when you're too hard on yourself, it's easy to forget that you're human too. When something doesn't go the way you planned or expect it to, you begin to beat yourself up over it, even though you tried your best. Instead of blaming yourself, accept what you cannot change and focus on the things you can to make the situation better. 2. You focus on the things you haven't accomplished yet. It's great to be ambitious and actively work towards reaching your goals, but if you begin to compare your own success to someone else's, then you may start to forget the progress you've made. Rather than feeling like you're not achieving enough, learn to appreciate your own journey. Everyone grows at a different pace, and just because you're not where you'd like to be yet doesn't mean you'll never get there. Remember, there's no such thing as overnight success. 3. It's hard for you to accept other people's compliments. When you're hard on yourself, you fall into the cycle of negative self-talk. As a result, even when someone gives you a genuine compliment, you perceive it as a lie, not because they didn't mean it, but because your self-criticism alters how you see yourself. Give your self-esteem a boost by surrounding yourself with close loved ones who see the best in you. When you spend time with people who remind you to practice self-love, you learn how to be more accepting of your quirks and flaws. 4. You're dismissive of your own ideas. We may not all be mad scientists or gifted artists, but we're all capable of being creative. But if you're quick to shoot down your own ideas before sharing them with others, then you may be too hard on yourself. Rather than quickly attaching judgment to an idea, allow it to bloom into action first before letting it go. Often, we're afraid of implementing ideas because of failure, but ideas are stepping stones to progress, not perfection. Before we move on, we want to give a shout out to our friend Cindy, who recently launched her shop website called Little Star Plans. If you're into bullet journals or planners, she has all the stickers you need to get started and get motivated in planning. Show her all the love and support. The website link will be in the description below. Every purchase made will include a free Psych2Go logo sticker from her shop. Just mention Psych2Go when you check out. But hurry, as this is valid until October 1st, 2019. Now back to the video. 5. You dwell on the mistakes you've made. When you focus too much on what you did wrong, you get stuck in the past, which prevents you from moving forward. Instead of beating yourself over mistakes you've made, reflect on them, so you can use them as learning moments. It's impossible to go through life without failing, getting hurt, and hurting others, even if it's unintentional. It's good to care about how your actions affect others, but it's another thing entirely when you allow your guilt to consume you. 6. You rarely give yourself a break. Putting pressure on yourself isn't productive if it only makes you feel worse. When you feel worse, you also begin to perform worse. Sometimes, it's good to take a step back, focus on the big picture, and remember to have fun every once in a while. If you only work your life away, constantly chasing your dreams, you lose out on spending time with loved ones and making memories you can look back on when you grow older. So slow down, catch the sunset, and let go. Do you think you've been too hard on yourself? What would you like to do differently? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching.